So the final stage actually is to go from here is to getting it into a Back to Live object. And the way we do that is very straightforward. Now there's a little trick here that I'm going to show you, which is that what I've done in Live, it, it, you can't in Max, as far as I can tell, actually create a new uh, Max for Live object directly. But what you can do is you can edit them. So what I've actually done here is just gone into Ableton and saved uh, a Max instrument. And I've called it D4. Now, oh, which is not what I wanted to do at all. Okay, <laughs> what I actually wanted to do was to open this with Max. Okay, let me just close that. <laughs> right, okay, so you can see this is the standard one that you get. Um, oh, no, we're not actually going to use this at all. <laughs> um, what we are going to do is just basically copy what we've got here across. Now, the thing I'm going to do before I forget, because I always forget, is to make sure that... Uh, two things. First of all, um, is to make sure that this is an opening presentation, because I usually forget to do that. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do before I forget is to actually save this out as dsynth, which is going to be our new Max for Live object. I do that before I do anything else, just so simply so I don't actually forget to do it. Right, uh, and as you can see, I'm pressing save continually. So now all we need to do is basically copy this stuff across. So all of this stuff is relevant, except for this little bit at the bottom, because... So what we do with that, let's come over here, let's copy this straight over here. And this is why I took a bit of care to name this. I can now close this one. So I took a bit of care to name the stuff because I'm going to use it directly anyway. Um, now what we can do is actually send, we could send this out by a plug out, but I can also use the beep plug out. I'll just do this as well. Um, okay, and that should be all that's required. And we can't test it here, but what we can do, um, we can actually, inside Max, these days we can actually already test that these uh, Max for Live objects, which is pretty handy, without starting live. <laughs> yeah, okay, there's a good purpose for doing that. So uh, now what we can actually do here is open this object, because <laughs> I've obviously forgotten to reposition them in presentation mode. So they're now going to be miles over here. Okay. Okay. Now, this might be where... I can't say, okay. Oh, that's all right. Right. Now what we can do here is, um, sorry, simply drag an audio object so that we can actually hear it. Bit of luck. Okay, so that's we can actually see that, that object is working. So we don't actually need this, this was just that. So we're actually done with Max now. It's saved that. Now we can come to Ableton. Because now we, now we have it. So now what we already actually have at this point is we already have a standalone synth. We could throw away that main patch if we wanted to just use it within live like this, um, because we can still edit it perfectly well inside there. Um, or if you want to run it as a standalone application, you could do that as well. And remember, this would work for MIDI and for OSC or whatever you want. So what we're now going to do is we're going to simply come in here. It's going to be my library. It'll be under Max for Live, Max Instrument. It's, uh, it's called Dsynth. So I jump that there. Uh, and now what we can do, uh, let's uh, chuck a, always need a bit of reverb. Uh, 
Uh, okay, so we can get rid of that. So now, with a bit of luck, oh, now, now you, this is one thing you will foresee. There's a lot of gain when you move it into live. So now we can actually play with it a little bit. Oh, no, now just to show you, I can actually come onto my push and I can actually control these already. Um, so I can increase the frequency on my push. 